Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today, let's take a look at Land Rover's clear sight ground view and surround camera system. If the vehicle is equipped with a surround camera system, when you tap the camera icon at the bottom of the home screen, you can see a 360-degree surround screen as if you were looking down at your vehicle. The 360-degree surround screen is located at the top of the menus on the left side of the screen. Tap the camera icon directly below to activate the camera selection menu and select and view one of several cameras. You can select from all five camera screens. After selecting, tap the close icon on the top right or tap anywhere on the screen to make the camera selection menu disappear. There are five camera screens. Front screen, front split screen, side split screen, rear wide angle screen, and rear screen. Then, let's see what cameras are used to show the five camera screens. Let's find out where the camera is located. First of all, it is a split screen for left and right sides. If you fold the side mirror, the screen will move like this. If you spread the side mirror and place it in its original position, you can see the screen returning to its original shape. If you fold the side mirror on the 360-degree surround camera screen, the left and right sides of the screen will look like this. When you put the side mirror in its original position, you can see the screen returning to its original shape. Therefore, it is assumed that the left and right side split screens have a camera in the side mirror. Let's go outside and check. This is what it looks like when you look up the side mirror from the bottom up. You can see a camera lens from the outside, and the white oval lens inside is a welcome light. A camera lens can also be found on the outside of the opposite side mirror. Therefore, the left and right side mirrors of the vehicle have one camera lens. Vehicles with a surround camera system also have a camera on the front of the vehicle. If you look carefully in the middle of the front bumper, you will find a camera lens. There is also a camera on the back of the vehicle. The camera is located on the tailgate handle and the rear camera is standard on all Land Rover vehicles, even if the vehicle is not equipped with a surround camera system. Then, I'll put a sticker around the front camera. I tried putting stickers one by one on the left and right of the front camera. If you select the front camera from the camera selection menu as before, the sticker looks like this. Let's look at the front split screen. You can see that the split screen divided into left and right is split into two from one front camera. Let's check this on the 360 degree surround camera screen. The stickers on the left and right sides of the front camera will be seen as slightly upward. This time, I'll put a sticker around the rear camera. Just like the front camera, I tried attaching stickers to the rear camera one by one on the left and right. Looking at the rear wide-angle screen, it looks like this. Unlike the front split screen, the rear wide-angle screen is displayed wide without dividing the screen. If you select the rear screen unlike the wide-angle screen, you can see it as if you see it with your own eyes. This time, let's look at the 360 degrees around camera screen. The stickers pasted to the left and right are not easily visible. You can see that it is shown in the center. Then, I'm going to block the front camera and the rear camera with stickers. Let's look at the front camera first in the camera selection menu. Since the front camera is completely covered by the sticker, you will not see anything on the front camera screen. Even when viewed in the front split screen, nothing can be seen. However, since no stickers are attached to the side mirror camera, you can see the left and right side screens. The rear camera, like the front camera, is completely covered with a sticker, so you can't see the rear wide angle screen and the rear screen at all. The front and rear camera parts are not visible even on the 360 degree surround camera screen. When the driver's door is opened, the camera part of the side mirror is also disabled and appears black. The passenger seat door is the same. 
If you look at the left and right split screens in the camera selection menu, unlike the 360 degree surround camera screen, you can view the screen because it does not cover the camera in the side mirror. Please remember which part of each of the four cameras on the 360 degree surround camera screen you are currently viewing. Closing the passenger and driver's doors will reactivate the camera. The driver assistance in the instrument panel menu is provided with an optional cross-traffic monitor menu. If the vehicle has a surround camera system, it is divided into forward and reverse. When the gear is in D mode and low speed, a warning light and a warning sound alert you when an object approaches from the left or right of the front of the vehicle. If the vehicle does not have a surround camera system, if there is an option, the gear is in R mode, and when the speed is low, it will notify you when an object approaches from the left and right rear of the vehicle. This time, let's find out about clear sight ground view. It is activated by tapping the icon at the top of the left menu on the camera function screen of the vehicle with clear sight ground view applied. On the screen where ClearSight Ground View was first launched, the part of my vehicle is displayed in black. The tires shown on the screen are not captured by the camera, but are expressed graphically. As you move the steering wheel, it behaves exactly the same. Now, when you start moving the vehicle slowly forward, it will gradually start to appear underneath my vehicle, which is black. As shown in the banner guide at the top of the screen, the look under my vehicle is not real-time. It shows the front of the vehicle captured by the front camera as it moves behind. Also, one black diagonal line is visible to the left and right of the screen. It is a boundary line that is displayed by combining the three cameras of both side mirror camera and front camera. The screen you are seeing here is related to clear sight ground view of new Range Rover Evoque produced by Land Rover. Demonstrates how to use the clear sight ground view on function not only off-road, but also useful in the city of on-road. Like this, even when passing a narrow road that can barely pass a car, the clear sight ground view allows you to safely pass through the blind spot on the underside of the vehicle, which is hard to see. Of course, if you use clear sight ground view even on off-road, you can drive while checking various off-roads with severe curvature. If my vehicle is not equipped with a clear sight ground view on function, but the surround camera system is applied, you need to use the driving assistance function of the four-wheel drive information. Clear sight ground view on function is actually the same as driving assistance function. The screens on both sides of the left and right side mirror cameras and the front screen of the camera in front of the vehicle are displayed in three split screens. The clear sight ground view screen is a combination of all three. You can drive while checking the front of the vehicle through the driving assistance function screen. Even when passing a narrow road, you can drive more safely by looking at the screens on the left and right. So far, we've explored the surround camera system with Land Rover's clear sight ground view. In the next video, we will learn about Land Rover's mild hybrid. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.